What's going on guys? Scares here. And uh no I'm joking. Uh hi guys. It's your boy Trace Gates here. With another video. And today we're doing a review of I don't know if you guys can see it all. That's just half the stack. All my broken boards. Well, anyways, let's get right into this. First board. First board. This board. Oh. Wow, this board broke really weird. My second ever outsider board. Um, this was a green 8125. Aaron hooked it up. Skated great, but I only got like. <coughs> Let's see. I think about a week and a half. More like 12 days with that one. And I broke that one on a, a switch flip because I just learned how to do switch flips. I just learned how to do switch flips and uh, I kept like landing. So, okay, so this is the board. I kept landing with like all my weight on this part of the deck. And it just eventually just cracked and broke. I got switch flips in the alley flips now, so that's pretty good. Alright, second board. Which I don't know why I can't find. Oh yeah, the other half I painted for hopefully get signed from Street League and then I forgot to freaking bring it. Um, this is a primitive Bastion Salban Z board. 8.0. This board was very very good to me. Probably lasted me about two and a half, three weeks. And uh, Actually no, more like a month. Skating wise though, I probably it lasted like three weeks because I set up a new board and then I had to go back to this one because that one broke. Um, this one I broke off an ollie off the roller at Ithaca Skate Park. That one was pretty insane because I landed like bolts, but I landed like, right behind the bolts, like right here. Chase got hanging down. Um, anyways, I landed right behind the bolts and because it was already cracked a little bit. Oh, now this board, you guys know this board if you have watched my tray flip to Tray Zero series. Um, uh, yeah. This one didn't do so hot. I, it was it's probably about a year old when I was trying it. And uh, this is an 825 primitive Nick Tucker deck. Super pop. This was like my one of my favorite boards ever. Back when I liked Grizzly Grip. This Grizzly Grip was really good. And then the Grizzly Grip down here with my other primitive board. Uh, I didn't really like it. I actually hated it during the work. Um, you guys are in for a new one. This board, even though it lasts me a week, oh my god, this is one of my favorite boards. Primitive, I scale a lot of primitive boards if you haven't realized yet. Uh, primitive, Carlos Ribeiro, 8125. This board lasts me a week. One week. And it has the freaking Tupac grip on it. That's so sick. Tupac grip. And this, this grip tape is freaking awesome. It's just like mine. Maybe even grippier. But it worked really well. And I was perfecting my tray flips and I just learned how to um, inward heel, I think. Um, inward heel and I broke it on a tray flip because this is this was a part of the period when I was breaking a lot of boards off tray flips. Alright, next board. Yeah. My final actually no, not my final. Another primitive board. Another primitive board. Another primitive board. This one's not completely broken, but it's about to break. Oh yeah. My other primitive last one, it was blue foil. Uh Ryan Peacock 8.0 deck. I broke that one at Woodward. <coughs> and that board probably lasted me four days because I was hard hardcore skating. 
This one, I can't believe I put it into this bad condition, but this is my first ever, like, real skateboard. It was a blackout skateboard, 825, like, super sick. Um, it's really beaten, but you, can, you can't really see the graphic, but there was a uh, skull there. But yeah, 825 blackout board lasted me like four months, five months. It was just a super sick deck. All right, now we're getting to the to the archive. This is an Aaron Cairo um, skateboard. Aaron Cairo Revive skateboard. Back when I was a newbie, lasted like three months. Now that seems like impossible because boards probably last me two to three weeks now. And the one I currently have is a blind Kevin Romar board. You guys have probably seen that from the last video. That board has lasted me about 17 days, which is pretty amazing actually. They're really good boards. Probably get more in the future if, you know, stuff doesn't happen. Anyways, this board was really good. This board, I thought I would like, but I hated it. Like, absolutely hated it. Girl board. Because the shape was so strange. It was an 8125. But, like, down here, it was... I, I, I just didn't like it. And the green bottom fly hated that, too. Just It looks disgusting. I learned no slides on this, a few other stuff, mob grip, you know, your usual. And we have a ton of pressure cracks. That board probably left me like a month. This board lasted me, oh, anyways, 825, back when I rode 825, like the first year of skating, less a year, like the first five months. Um, this was a revive, just normal red light line deck. Lasted about three months. Super dope deck. Alright, next deck. Oh man, I do want to give these boards another go, but this board just, this board. This was probably the worst period of skateboarding breaking history. You guys haven't seen it back. Um, this board, Plan B. Plan B, Chris Jocelyn deck. The shape was a little weird, but I ended up getting used to it after the first day of skating. Yeah, first day. This board, I broke on a kickflip off of a ledge like this high. I landed in the middle. Anyways, Chris Jocelyn's Plan B board didn't last that long. I was very disappointed. But I'll probably end up getting another one in the future. Um, oh man, this board. This is my first ever impact board. It was an impact plus. Um, it was super like, super poppy. Alright, guess there's going to be a part two to this because my camera's about to die. Um, yeah, I still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven skateboards. Actually, no, I can bring five more too, so 12 more skateboards to review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great day. Peace!